Today I have something a little different. The company Yoges have sent me their PS5 cooling stand to check out with you. Of course, I have to see if it actually does cool down your PS5, as many of these stands state. So let's check it out. Keeping in mind that this particular stand is only for the original PS5 models and not the newer slim models. So out of the box you get the stand itself, two hooks to hang your peripherals like headsets, and its own screw to attach through the bottom of the stand into the same location as the standard PS5 stand attaches. Yoges say that their cooling stand is an all-in-one multifunctional design, allowing you to charge two controllers, store games, and hang things like headsets on the supplied hooks, which hang on the side plates of the PS5. This stand gets power from a rear USB connection on your PS5 straight into the back of the stand, but also gives you some extra USB ports on the front side so you don't lose any connectivity. In fact, you gain some with two USB-C ports and one USB-A. And on the front of the stand, you have your light-up display that shows your controller charge state and the all-important fan modes for your cooling, as well as the RGB modes. On the top of the stand is a temperature gauge, which is getting a temp from the sensor built into the stand vents right where the PS5 sits. How this essentially works is the fan located on the back of the stand draws more hot air out from the bottom vents of the PS5, and chucks it out the back of the stand, essentially cooling the PS5 more than its standard cooling system, which as standard draws air from the front of the PS5 straight through and out of the back. So with this extra cooling sucking hot air out of the bottom additionally, does it work? Well, without the proper tools like a thermal multimeter, it is quite hard to get an accurate reading from the CPU itself. Luckily, my dad recently picked up a thermal camera, and from our investigation, the front area of the PS5 between the USB ports and the power buttons seems to be the sweet spot for external temperature gauging. The massive heatsink inside our PS5 model is located just behind this area, as well as other components that get very hot. But why not use the stand's built-in temperature reading, you say? Well, that sensor is only picking up the hot air temp being sucked from the console not the temp of the actual console internals themselves, which in a way tells us it's doing something, as the temperature rises while the fan is running compared to not running by about 8 degrees Fahrenheit or more. So basically, don't worry if this temperature sensor raises on the stand when your fans are on. That sensor is only reading the hot air being sucked from inside your console and blown out the back fan of the stand. The actual temperature change of the console via our thermal camera is not quite so drastic as the internal thermal sensor. Our testing was done while idle on the PS5 dashboard first. With the fans off on the stand, we reached temps of 84 degrees Fahrenheit on the hotspots. And while the fan was running on its highest settings, we saw a low of 79.8 degrees Fahrenheit, which is an improvement of minus 4.2 degrees Fahrenheit. And could I say Fahrenheit anymore in this video? As you can see, these white hotspots dissipate visually quite drastically on our thermal optics. As it turns red, it's cooling, so the fan is doing its job to cool things down internally. As a stress test, we tried Astro's Playroom, which is reported to push temperatures quite a bit within the PS5. Stood still at the entrance to GPU Jungle for all testing, without cooling, we reached a temperature of 94.4 degrees Fahrenheit. But with the stand's fan running full for about 15 minutes, we got a low of 93.5 degrees Fahrenheit, which is still an improvement, albeit a small one at minus 0.9 degrees Fahrenheit, for something that pushes the console quite hard for some reason. In my opinion, it's not something you will want to run out and buy straight away or your PS5 will explode, but it is easy to set up and from our tests is not going to make things worse by any means. In fact, it should improve cooling in many instances, even running highly demanding games, even if it is a negligible improvement. Plus, you get the added bonus of two controller charging stations and a place for some of your most played games. We did try to simulate a normal location for the console by putting a board behind it to catch hot air also, as you can see in the footage, and the hotspot from the PS5's back fans was noticeably hotter with the Yoges stand fans on, meaning that the fan of the stand is also kicking out a lot more hot air in that location as it is intended and stated by Yoges. More hot air out means less hot air inside your console, which is always a good thing. With all that said, I've never really used a cooling stand before, so I cannot compare at this time whether this is the normal for these types of stands for the PS5 or any other console. But as Yoges offered to send me this product to check out for you, I thought, why the hell not? Let's see if these do what they actually say they do. And for all intents and purposes, 
it does. So in summary, the Yogez PS5 cooling stand does cool down your PS5 while its fan is running. This will totally depend on your console's location and ambient temperature also, so do keep that in mind. I think these are cool little packages to keep your console and accessories in order, and this one at least seems to work as intended during our testing. Let us know your thoughts on the Yogez cooling stand for PS5 in the comment section below. Do you trust this kind of thing, or have you been shopping for something like this for your PS5 setup? As an added bonus, Yogez have sent me a 10% discount code, which I will pin in the comment section, and all links can be found in the description below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you wish to continue seeing the content I create. But most of all, thank you for watching, and I'll see you peeps next time.